how are you? Um, the season is coming, holiday season, and lots of families are meeting and gathering online or offline. And uh, it's the season when people get actually triggered. So uh, I want to tell you today about relationships and how we get, why we get triggered. Uh, I want you to notice like, why we get triggered. Uh, I want you to notice, like somebody you say, okay, like I feel anger when you find yourself in the place of attacking or defending yourself or um, somebody is not like giving you attention and you feel, you feel bad. Like I want you in these situations, if you have the awareness, like uh, a beloved ones who ignores you, it hurts you. Okay. Like notice that uh, someone says something judging you. How do you respond to that? Do you start attacking and defending and pointing at them and fighting back? What do you do? Like I'm bringing awareness because nobody can ever, ever make you feel anything without your consent. Again, nobody's going to make you feel bad or insignificant without your consent. You are in charge of you. And that's a mindset. You either have a, a war mindset or you have a healthy mindset, healthy for you, not for the other person. So honestly, if somebody triggers you, ask yourself like, oh, I'm being triggered now. And this will be wonderful because you are aware at least that there is triggers happening. Okay. So when you feel that wall building up of resistance or does this energy of anger and you're, you're turning red and you're furious, notice that. This tells you, this tells you, you are not anymore the anger because you are not angry. You cannot be your feelings. Your feeling changes all the time. One minute you're happy, one minute you're sad. Like, I mean, like you are not, you cannot say like it's wrong programming or wrong conditioning. When we say I am sad, I am mad, I'm angry. You know, you're bigger than that. You can say there is anger inside me. I notice there is sadness inside me. The emo emotion is building up. When you notice this emotion, ask yourself this question. Why I got triggered? What this person say reminded me of something I have been denying for years and now I am triggered. Because it's not about them. It's about you. Somebody can tell me something. I take it as a compliment and they can say the same thing to another person and he would take it as an insult. So it's not what they say. It's how you see it. What you tell yourself. Somebody tells you, you are uh, very rude and you know that you are not. And you know, like, well, thank you. That's your opinion. Thank you for sharing. That's your opinion. I know I'm not rude. That's your self-talk. It shows that you're coming. That's your self-talk. It shows that you're coming from a place of confidence. Your husband forgot your birthday. Women would tend to like, oh my God, he doesn't love me anymore. I hate my life. I... They tend to go in this loop. Versus saying like, oh, someone who really loves me and cares about me forgot about my birthday. I wonder if they are good. The outcome, how you feel is quite different. One, you're coming from confidence and one is coming from your like, you're not confident about yourself. You're, um, you're judging them. You, you don't, you, that's not your self-talk. You see the, how the self-esteem issue kicks in. So whoever you're gonna, so whoever you're gonna meet in the holiday, during the holiday and triggers you ask yourself why am i triggered why am i why am i what am i telling myself that i believe about me that their accusation or their way of treating me triggered it it has to do with you it's not about them they give you a gift you say thank you thank you for bringing awareness okay i hope this helps and you have wonderful holiday season with your beloved ones, whether virtual or together. And have an awesome day. Thank you for watching.